Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and I've got some goodies um, to share with you, show you all from Easy Craft Art. They were kind enough to send me um, some items. So we're going to start with what you can see as a blue dot. This is something I'm actually quite excited to try. So this is a sealer. Um, and I'm not sure if the sticker is over the way. I'm not sure if it's supposed to have a lid or not. There wasn't one in my packaging. But it is diamond paint nunk finish. I think they missed out the eye. Um, but it's like a sealer. But it's a sealer that you can get by pushing down. Let's see if it is sealed. I'm kind of hoping it is because it did travel quite a way to me. The bag wasn't sticky inside. Okay, yeah, it's all sealed up. So you do need to take that seal off and then you use sort of the dabby foam side of it. And I'll show you before actually doing it because I don't have a paint in here to do it on. But you dab down on that and then you can put sealer all over a diamond painting that's finished. Um, so it's not easy to peel off. It's got strong water resistance. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to work out what they, what they're sort of saying, and then trying to say it better, because it says application before the table will be cleaned, and then scrape a layer of table version of glue, such as glue dry again need to wait for table after glue dry use. I don't think I can even work out what that is supposed to say. Um, but it's down as a diamond painting sealer. So my thought was it can go over items um, either off the canvas or actual diamond paintings that you've done and finished and want to make sure that your diamonds are sealed in. I thought that was quite a nice handy container as such for doing that with. It's sort of a container and an applicator all in one kid and caboodle and the price was very reasonable. So I'll pop the link down below of course with everything else. But that was the first item that I picked up. And then we do have a couple of diamond paintings. So, oh, this first one, this one is a special drill. I mean, look, if it, it's as though it's sparkling already, I kind of feel, with with these, this symbol for this slightly bigger diamond. It kind of looks like it's got a sparkle going already, but it has nine colours. It does actually come with a DMC code, though they're not a standard DMC code. So it says it's DMC, but like one of them's number 37. 39, one of them's number one, one of them's Z1. Um, so I'm not sure how true they are to actual DMC. But I just, as I say, you can see the sparkle before you've even done it. Imagine what it's like when you've finished. Um, so you get a toolkit. And then they, they do them in a couple of colours. I think I, I think I may have the other colour coming. Um, in a future unboxing because I kind of fell in love with it but we have so we have two bags of the turquoise blue then we've got two bags of the pale blue is it two or is it three three bags of the pale blue two bags of the darker blue then we've got silver and even darker blue and then we've got some bigger silver bigger blue bigger turquoise and then we've got some more deep blue so yes there's a lot of blues but I like blue the other one I've ordered is a lot of pink <laughs> um, but I just think the way the way it looks um, and the way once that's done it's going to sparkle as I say I kind of feel like it's sparkling already and there's no diamonds on it I just thought it was gorgeous. So it's a special painting. It is classed as a partial because you're not filling the whole thing, but you're pretty close to filling the whole thing. 
um, there is just a bigger gap between each of the numbers. So it will keep you busy for a bit longer, that one, which I don't think is a bad thing, because as I say, I think that's gorgeous. And then, last but by no means least, we do have a full drill diamond painting. This is a 30 by 40. It has 25 colours and it does come with the MC numbers and it's, it's just a, a quiet setting in a back garden, I'd say. Uh, let's have a measure, oh, in fact I forgot to measure the, the rows as well. So for this one it is 25 centimetres by just short of 35 centimetres. What was the rose? Because I forgot for people that will need to know. It's just over 34 and a half by 25. So they're very, very similar. There's less than half a centimetre sort of between them. But this one, of course, has a lot more colours and you do put diamonds all over it. Symbols are all letters and numbers. They are white on black and black on white. And there is no training wheels on them um, but it's it's quite confetti in places especially in the trees which or the the vines growing up the house whichever it may be um, it is quite confetti but it does give a lot of depth to that tree I think mean, that's gonna look gorgeous it does come with a toolkit then let's have a look at the diamonds I can imagine there being a bit of colour and a bit of more muted in this one. Oh, look at some of those pinks and reds. Uh, we have a little bit of white and some dark green. And then, oh, look at all those pastel colours. So nice, just those all together. Uh, then we do have, of course, some darker tones with some peachy tones some yellows, limeish green, didn't quite say full lime green, and then we've got your more earthy tones, your rich tones for the door, and purples and stuff that will give you sort of all around the door and the bottom of the house, and then we've got some nice pops of colour in those shutters. Looks like shutters, I'm not sure, in fact it looks like it's shutters around the door as well. I think there are some countries that have shutters around doors. But yeah, it just looks like going to have a very nice, peaceful, peaceful afternoon tea in the garden, which is not a bad thing at all. So these are the three items from Easy Craft Art. We've got a nice afternoon tea. Um, what will be a very sparkly blue rose and some sealer that I'm quite interested to give that a go um, see if that is easier to apply at the minute I apply my sealer with a brush so it will be interesting to see how that goes on instead and how it dries um, yeah I'll be I'll be sure to give that a go as soon as I have something I need to seal um, and I'll be reporting back then but I will pop the links to them all down below in case you want to give any of these a go you know if you're ordering a painting you may as well pick up some sealer as well because the price is very reasonable but thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon